guys, the Super Review Show here for a Superman the Movie movie review. I haven't done one of these in a long time, but this is for all of you who have stuck with me for a long time. So I, I just want to talk about this past movie review of Superman the Movie. First off, it's Christopher Reeve. How much? How better can you get than that? Now, a little bit of backstory about this movie that I'm about to talk about for just a couple minutes. This was the very first Superman movie, per se, on a big budget scale that hit cinemas in 1978. Uh, this movie has forever hit my childhood. Uh, I watched it when I was at a very young age with my grandparents. Um, and I was floored by... Because the, the guy who did it was uh, Richard Donner, I believe. Uh, Richard Donner directed the first... If I'm not mistaken. Let me just check, just check the DVD case. Uh, Superman, the movie... Who directed it? It was Richard Donner. Yeah, Richard Donner. For those of you who may or may not know, he directed all the Lethal Weapon movies, all four of them. He directed Goonies. He it was a big, big, big. I think he produced Gremlins. He's a fantastic director. I think he's still alive too. Anyways, Superman the movie. The most interesting thing about one of the most interesting things about this movie to me personally is the casting of Superman himself, Christopher Reeve. Nowadays, we know who Christopher Reeve is because of the Superman movies. Before Christopher, Reeve, before this movie, Christopher Reeve was a soap opera actor. He was an unknown actor in the middle of Hollywood waiting for his big role. And sure enough, he really does look like Superman. He really does. And Christopher Reeve's Superman, they did four of them. Then they did Superman Returns, which is in this box set, by the way. Um, he, he, it, I, I'm at a loss for words at some, at some times when I talk about this movie because I love this Superman so much and I think that when they redid it when they rebooted it with Man of Steel which we'll, I'll, you know, I'll get to another movie, movie review of that soon whatever um, this movie to me was like the casting of, of uh, the casting of Superman the casting of Superman was so critical for this and it, but the thing about the actors and level of talent in Hollywood in the late seventies, early eighties, yeah, you got Gene Hackman as Lex Luthor, Marlon Brando, who was I believe just in The Godfather, to do they did they, he was Jarrell in, in this movie, and then you got Gene Hackman, Marlon Brando, Margot Kidder as Lois Lane, and an unknown actor as Superman. A lot of people saying that that uh, choice they made to be. To have an unknown Superman, an unknown lead actor in this film, it's kind of set the set the mood like, oh, we can have an, a complete unknown actor for this giant mega role. Like for instance, when Chris Hemsworth, Chris Hemsworth was going to be in Thor, he was already being eyed by Hollywood talent talent agencies for like years as a super talented actor, and he was just trying to find the right vehicle for him, and they did it. And before, just before that, he was in Star Trek 2009 as uh, Captain Kirk's father, that very beginning part. Um, he nailed that role as well. But, but anyways, back to Superman. Uh, I love, I know they look really dated for the 70s, but at the time, these were groundbreaking effects. The fact that he goes around the earth and reverses time and stuff, and he fixes, saves Lois Lane's life, stops the, you know, the, the, the fault line of California. The, the overall, like, ending of the movie, with the, the fault line being broken and like all this stuff right like how Lex plan on like creating a new real estate property that's very much of the time kind of like villainous aspect because when they got the Superman 2 which is a great sequel by the way we, we should have mentioned that in our, on, our, um, on our live stream of sequels and sequelitis <laughs> for mixed bag but anyways uh, Superman 2 is great as well but Superman the movie will forever have a special place in my heart. And everything from the way that they casted Christopher Reeve to Gene, with Gene Hackman, Marlon Brando, Jackie Cooper, these are headlining names, headlining names of the day, and you cast an unknown as Superman. To me, that forever will be like, wow, they did that, and it worked. Um, the Red Undies, obviously, are of the time, too. Like, you know, just Red Undies. Um, look, I think... If I were to rate this movie, uh, I I think I think I on my IMDb on my phone I rated it as like a an eight out of ten. Um, I'm I'm still pretty much satisfied with that. I know you can't do like decimals on there. You can't do seven point five or 
or whatever. Uh, I'm going to give Superman the movie a for nostalgia purposes and the fact that it's an incredible film on its own right. It May in the 70s, fantastic film, set Christopher Reeve up for all this blockbuster hit with Superman. I'm going to give it a, a stick with an 8 out of 10. Um, this movie is amazing. It, it stands the test of time and it's a timeless classic film. Um, and I mean, how can we forget the iconic opening of Krypton oh, you know, exploding and coming to Earth and, and the visual effects and the way the practical effects were used. Oh, I can go on for hours. Anyways, guys, what do you guys think about this movie? Jump down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what made this movie so special to you and if you love it as much as I do. Like I said, comment below. Let me know. Sorry, Jeremy Johns. I hate to do that to you. But anyways, for all of your movie reviews, keep it locked on the Superview Show. The J-Man is off work. See you guys later.